What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness and this week we have a return guest. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment for the algorithm. This week, the return of What The Fitness himself, Dave Asprey. Oat oats, or oat milk as it's called. 679. Ingredients, water. The, so he's complaining about the price of the oat milk Meanwhile, please buy my overpriced coffee. But okay, Dave, cool. So he's pointing out the ingredients of oat milk, which is water, oats, and salt. Okay. Water, oats, and salt. Did they just sell you a bottle of water with 20 cents worth of oats blended in? I mean, that's probably what it is, but okay. Did you just sell people coffee that has microtoxins removed that aren't even really a problem? But hey, whatever. Anyway. Yes, they did. Are you that dumb? Oh, oh, well, you know, Dave, can we rewind to a previous video where he cited a study and then the study he cited actually showed the opposite of what he said? So Dave, I really don't think you should be calling anyone dumb. I, I don't think that's gonna go well for you and I don't think it's a good look. What oats do, unfortunately, is they're full of phytic acid and oh. usually they're full of glyphosate as well. Okay, so he's worried about phytic acid in the oats. But didn't he just say it was like 20 cents of oats? And so do you really think there's enough phytic acid in there to cause the problems that I'm sure you're about to tell us about? Phytic acid leaches minerals from your body. Oh no. This is not good for you. And most of them have canola oil and sweetener. So at least this one doesn't have those. But oats are not a beneficial food for you, especially oh, really? when they're treated this way. I wouldn't do this to my kids. I wouldn't put this in my coffee. And it's not to pick on this one brand. Oat milk is a bad idea. It's just watery oatmeal and they're charging huge amounts of money. It's a scam. Bro, you sell overpriced coffee and call it bulletproof and you wanna talk about scams? Okay, oats are not a beneficial food. Here's some studies just showing that people who eat oats have improvements in insulin sensitivity, satiety, possibly weight loss, cardiovascular disease. You know, you pick. But oh, phytic acid, oh no, oh no, phytic acid. Dosage makes the poison. There's not enough phytic acid in there to do anything. And a lot of it tends to get destroyed during the cooking process. Dave, once again, you have shown yourself to be completely devoid of any critical thinking skills whatsoever. Also, he appears to be taking after Paul Saladino and going into a supermarket to do this stuff. I do give him bonus points because at least he's wearing a shirt. And I hate to say stuff about people based on their appearance, but since he does it to other people, I don't feel so bad. I'm really glad he's wearing a shirt. How old is Dave Afspray? He's 48, bro. He's only eight years older than me. Isn't he supposed to be like the longevity guru or something like that? I really sh shouldn't. But man, it's so tempting to make a comment about appearance when you're holding yourself out to be like this anti-aging guru. But anyways, we're just gonna leave it at that. Thanks for keeping your shirt on, Dave. I'll keep my shirt on and I'll catch you next week.